Good morning, my name is Brad Mihalik, Operations Section Chief for Great Basin Team 3. We are going to give you an operational update for the Middle Fort Complex, August 26, 2024. Our complex consists of two fires, like we've said, the Bulldog Fire and the Nelly Fire. Um, we'll start up here at the north end of the Nelly Fire in Branch 1. Today we have crews up in the um, Silver Creek Lodge area um, implementing structure protection uh, mitigations up in this area. They should be complete with that in the next two shifts. We also, like we talked about yesterday, um, have some indirect line. We talked about what indirect line was yesterday. Coming off the uh, 671 road, uh, tying into some trail systems up here north of the Silver Creek Lodge. So with that indirect line, what we do with that after it's in and completed, what we do is we fire it off. We call them firing operations. And what we do is we put fire on the ground on our own terms. And that way we can control the intensity of the fire. And, and what we do is we burn some unburned fuel from that line between the fire and this line. So what that does is as the fire approaches this line, it runs out of fuel before it hits our primary line. So it, it, the fire doesn't hit our primary line as hard as if we didn't burn this fuel out prior to it getting there. As we come down uh, to the south along the um, Middle Fork Road corridor area, this area is still looking really good, holding right on the road. We have crews still patrolling and monitoring this area. And as we come down on the, the, uh, the south uh, west portion of the fire, this, this has been good for quite a few days now. So we've put this in what we call monitor status. Out here at the Lightning Creek drainage, um, we did have some activity out in here yesterday. And uh, we were able to keep this in check with aircraft throughout the day yesterday. Today, we have some crews that are going to start scouting south of this Lightning Creek drainage for some line to tie in, tie it into uh, some operations we have going on here near the Nelly Fire. Out along the highway corridor through the uh, communities of uh, Crouch, Garden Valley, and the Highway 17 corridor, we still have prote uh, structure protection group out there. Um, they're broken into three different task forces, one for Crouch, one for Garden Valley, and one for the highway corridor. They're still out there um, putting together a structure protection plan um, for these communities and uh, really interfacing with the community and, and letting them know what our operations are gonna look like in there. Moving over to the uh, Nelly fire. Uh, this is a critical, critical piece for us here in the next couple of days. Uh, yesterday, we were able to come in here and put some, again, indirect line off the, uh, the, the west side of the Nelly Fire here, tying into some road systems, putting in some dozer line down this ridge line and tying it into the uh, Highway 17 corridor. Today, um, they're gonna bolster up this line with some, uh, some retardant from the aircraft and try to uh, put a hose lay in here in preparation to fire this line off within the next couple of shifts, we hope. If conditions allow down here where this indirect line ties into the 17 corridor, we're gonna have to do some firing operations in here today just to keep this piece in check, allowing us to implement this plan over the next couple of days. Moving, up, moving east along the uh, Highway 17 corridor, this is all looking really good through the corridor we actually added some black to the map here meaning this section is contained along the highway corridor as we move up around the east side of the nelly fire this this whole east flank of the nelly fire is hung up in an old burn scar the old pioneer burn scar and we are just monitoring this with um, some drones and other aircraft just to keep an eye on it until we get resources and the priorities allow us to um, get some folks out here and start uh, making some plans for that. So as of right now, we're just monitoring this by air. Up near the Deadwood Reservoir area, um, 
crews yesterday um, were able to tie into the lake right here and pick this up direct. Direct meaning we're working right on the edge of the fire line, putting in fire line. So they were able to work in here yesterday with, uh, with the help of some scoopers and some uh, rotor wing aircraft to put in some direct line right here. So that's looking real good. This is, this is trying to prevent northern progression. So once they get that direct line in here, we're gonna tie, tie into some road systems up in here where you see all this pink some road systems in here to tie it back to the Pioneer Fire. So this again will be some indirect line tying back into the Pioneer Fire. And when conditions allow, we'll be able to fire off this indirect line pre preventing northern progression. Another thing to add is we, we do have some night operations going on um, right, right down here on the Highway 17 corridor. We just have a couple of engines and some crews patrolling this area during the night uh, to ensure that the fire doesn't make a hard push towards the highway corridor. They're also in here really watching this um, this piece in here where we have the indirect line coming down um, to ensure that nothing major happens in here in order to keep this plan implemented. Um, for the days going forward. We expect night operations to last uh, probably two more shifts and then we may cease night operations but more information to follow on that as, as we see how the fire moves throughout the day. Like I stated yesterday, um, all of our spike camps are now up and in operation. We have a dead uh, spike camp here up by Deadwood Reservoir. We got another, another one in here on the west side of the Nelly fire called Anderson Spike. And we've got another one up here, this Silver Creek Spike on the northern end of the Bulldog fire. That's your operational update for today. Thank you.